I'm starting with a question. Who in this room is a man? Can I see your hands? Keep your hands up. Which one of you would like to shop for clothes? That's nice. Most people in this room know the problem that we are going to solve. Good mo afternoon, my name is Mai Ling and I am the founder of our House of Einstein. We're, we're trying to make sure the man goes dressed very well without any problems. And how do we do this? There's three very simple steps through the internet. Firstly, Skype with Outfitter. I can also say that you can have an image of what you're going to do, what you'd like to wear, and based on this, you receive three outfits that you can try on at home. A lot of men have to give them a little bit of a fashion show for their families. You choose what you like, you send the rest back, and you only pay for the uh, garments that you keep at the same price as in the shop. I've been asked by Rogier to tell something about my experiences as uh, an internet entrepreneur. I've been thinking about three things that I'd like to share with you today. Firstly, internet is very sexy. I would like to say with this that the younger generation thinks that internet is nice. In the Netherlands we talk about having a shortage of technical staff. I have a diploma from the Technical University in Delft. A lot of people say, I know what a website looks like. You see different images of a drilling uh, rig, for example, a ship uh, or construction workers with uh, hat, hard hats on. But this is not the way to attract the next generation of engineers, especially not female ones. However, on internet, they're doing, they're on the internet every day. It's very popular to go on Spotify, for example. And to show that there are a lot of engineers behind this, you can do something with technique as well as fashion. So it is possible to do something that is your passion and to use your technical uh, skills as well. When we say internet is cheap, we say this is the most effective way to generate uh, a lot of money and capital and let this grow. I believe that the capital that we earn will go to uh, sectors that are more capital intensive. There are still people who say to me, are you going to be an entrepreneur on the internet and in fashion? What a waste. You're a, we you're a woman, uh, you shouldn't be wasting your energy on this. But I'd like to give you a profile of men around 50 a lot of them are in the IT sector. And in, these, in this category, these men had a lot of cash and, and and they have still trouble to make it a profit because it is very difficult in order to uh, raise a company. And of course, I have to still earn my own car. So there is a big difference. It is very important for the people, also for being the country, but also being an entrepreneur. So and that int and the internet can have uh, see that you have a very large capital. So and also invest in other sectors, because I still would like to establish an, a company in sustainable energy. And the final stage is di DIY. I've been working at a techno starters uh, some time, and these are more industry and products uh, fabric, uh, some more. Um, manufacturers and also innovations and you can see they receive a quite some sub subsidies and it really slows down the starters it takes sees to them that they feel safe they don't talk to customers so actually they won't leave their comfort zone and therefore the internet entrepreneurs they do it all yourself so in times of crisis they can set the example and you can see them as Roma but every time if I don't have customers or clients I have a loss so I know where my uh, uh, businesses and where I have to improve on what I do have to do. So, and you can see that at a later time they can also wear where the added value is and if so, please let the answer know, let's, let's go of that because then we won't lose our capital to that. So, one of the other things, what I would like to say is with Ironson, 
you can see here on the slide, imagination is more important than knowledge. So the imagination of a new generation is extremely large. They know, they know what a beach in Hawaii looks like. They know what at, at this moment is happening in, in Japan. And so therefore, we are not dependent on uh, knowledge in textbooks that would determine what we need to know because we have our just imagination and that is so very large. And therefore, we can just uh, come, uh, conquer this crisis and we will uh, get to that. Thank you very much.